welcome to Kids on the Block with me, Whitney Dambia. Today we are in... Hello, I'm Teacher Masi from Kiambu Hillcrest Academy and I'm going to take you through spelling competition. Learners, are you ready? Yes. So we have Team Red and Team Blue. Team Red, we are represented by Walter, Noville, John, and Nicole. In Team Blue, we are represented with Quinta, Adrian, Natasha, and Gideon. So I'm going to call upon the first learner, who is Walter, from Team Red. Walter, stand forward. Please, Walter. Introduce yourself. My name is Walter. So, Walter, you're going to spell for us two words. The first word is decorate. Mm -hmm. The second word is immediately. Clap for him. So Walter has spelled for us two words. And those words we can use it to make a sentence. For example, in decorate, we can say, we went to a wedding and we saw the rooms were well decorated. Have you had learners? Yes. So I'm going to call upon the second learner from the same red team. Who is Novil? Novil, stand forward and spell for us the following words. First of all, introduce yourself. Yes, Novil is going to spell for us two words. The first word is suddenly. The second word is prefect. Prefect. Very good. Please clap for her. Now I'm going to call upon the first people from the blue team. Who is Quinta? Quinta, introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Quinta, you are going to spell for us two words, and the first word is beautiful. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. Mm -hmm. The second word is mesha. Mesha. F-E-A-S-U-R-U. <laughs> Quinta has spelled for us well. Please clap for her. Quinta, sit down. The second person from the blue team is Adrian. Adrian, introduce yourself. Uh -huh. Adrian, you're going to spell for us two words. And the first word is class teacher. is standard. Standard? S -T -A -N -A -R. <laughs> Adrian has spelled for us the words. Adrian, please sit down. Please. <laughs> I'm going to call upon the a pupil from the red team who is John. Introduce yourself. John is going to spell for us two words, and the first word is shopping list. S H O L P I O G L I S T. The second word is agriculture. 
Please appreciate him. John, sit down. Ah, the last person from the red team, I'm going to call upon Nicole. Nicole, kindly step forward and introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Nicole, you're going to spell for us the word dormitory. Again, to spell for us the word Hillcrest. Mm -hmm. Clap for Nicole. Now we are going back to the blue team. The blue team. I'm going to call upon Gideon. Gideon, you're going to spell for us the word library. The second word, Gideon, you're going to spell for us the word director. <laughs> Very good. Please appreciate him. I'm going to call upon the last person from the, re the red team, the blue team, I mean, sorry, who is Natasha. Natasha, you're going to spell for us the word bookshop. Uh -huh. Natasha, lastly, you're going to spell for us the word office. Very good, appreciate her. So we were like in a competition, and you know very well in every competition there must be a winner and a loser. So, lastly, I'm going to ask upon you construct for me a sentence using director from the red team. A volunteer from the red team, Novil, stand and construct for us the word director. A sentence using the word director. The director has worn the red cloth today. Kindly appreciate her. Uh -huh. From the blue team, construct for me a sentence using bookshop. Adrian. The teacher has buy books from the bookshop. Kindly appreciate him. So when we come to the end of our lesson, but before that, we were spelling the words and you people from, people from Team Red, you failed to spell for us well the word dormitory. Dormitory supposed to be spelled as D-O-R-M-I-T-O-R-Y. So in that note, that one word made you to lose a mark. So the red team, you are having five marks. Please appreciate him. Appreciate them. And the winners are the blue team, which had seven marks. Appreciate them. So we've come to the end of our spelling competition. And as, as you've seen, we had the winners who were team red. But team blue, you are not the losers. There is a room for everything. So next time, please work hard to be the winners. Thank you very much for your time. May God bless you. Good job.
glass of water and don't touch that remote for we will be right back after the short break. I'm Jambo Anafunzi. Muhali gani? Jema. Aya karibuni katika kipindi chetu cha leo ambacho ni kipindi cha Kiswahili na haswa leo tunaenda kuzungumzia kuhusu imla. Imla ni kuzitaja na kuzitamka zile herufi ambazo zinaunda maneno tofauti tofauti katika lugha ya Kiswahili. Nimesema imla ndarudia imla ni herufi ambazo zinatamkwa na kutaja majina mbalimbali katika lugha ya Kiswahili. Kwa hiyo kuna baadhi ya majina ambayo tunaenda kuweza kuyapitia. Kwanza darasa langu lina wanafunzi wafuatao na Quinta, Novil, Nicole, Natasha, John, Adrian, 
Gideon na Walter hao ni wanafunzi ambao ninao katika kipindi changu cha leo. Na naenda kuwa hapa e, timu ambazo ni mbili na timu ya wasichana pale ndio anaenda kuwa hapa rangi nyekundu na timu ya wavulana pale inaenda kuwa hapa rangi ya samawati au blue. Naam. E, maneno yangu ya kwanza yanamwendea Walter. Walter Simama jitambulishe Ya yeah, huyo ni Ultra toka shule ya Kiambu Hillcrest. Nina maneno mawili ambayo naenda kwa kumuuliza Ultra aweze kunipa eh hizo tahajia ama hizo herufi kwa urefu. Neno la kwanza ni mchi. 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 Neno la pili ni tendebu. Ehe, vyema kabisa tuweze kumshukuru Walter kwa makofi. Eh, mwanafunzi wangu wa pili nenda kuchukua Adrian. Adrian, jiweze kutambua kujitambulisha. Eh, huyo ni Adrian kutoka shule ya Kiambu Hillcrest. Naenda kumpa eh, Adrian maneno mawili. Neno la kwanza ni computer. Eh, neno la pili ni waziri. Ehe, yema kabisa Adrian Keti. Tumeweza kumpongeza kwa makofi? Neno la tatu linamwendea Gideon. Eh, mwanafunzi wangu wa tatu ni Gideon, anaenda kunipa urefu wa hilo neno alhamisi neno la pili ni vihusishi ameweza kupata natumai tuweze kumpongeza kwa makofi keti mwanafunzi wangu wa nne ni john Karibu jioni kwa maneno yafuatayo. Pa. Kaptura. Si a T R. Bien mwanzo kwa kofi. Inaenda upande ule wasichana wetu ambao niliwapa rangi nyekundu na mwanafunzi wa kwanza Ninachukua kwinta. Ya yule mwanafunzi wetu ambaye ni kwinta. Kwinta eh, ni maneno yafuatayo parachichi. P A R A C H I C H I. Sauti njema sana. Neno la pili mchuzi. Sama rudia rudia tafadhali sijaweza kupata M C H I W S Z I Eh vyema kabisa tuweze kumshukuru Quinta kwa makofi Ehe tuweze kupata mwanafunzi mwingine anao bila jitambulishe Kuna chini na kupa maneno mawili vile vile neno la kwanza ni kifutio Ehe. Neno la pili ni dawati. Ehe, pia mtu anaweza kumshukuru kwa kofi. Ne mwanafunzi 
mwingine pale ni Nicole Yaani mwanafunzi ambaye anaitwa Nicole Nicole natumai kwa utaongeza sauti kidogo ili wasikizaji waweze kusikiza ama waweze kusikia vyema neno ambalo ninakupa ni nyati ni call then on la pili ni kalamu eh eh vyema kabisa tuweze kumpongeza nikule kwa makofi na mwanafunzi wangu wa mwisho ni Natasha Natasha Mhm, ndio mwanafunzi wa mwisho ni Natasha bila shaka. Mwanafunzi Natasha nampa maneno vile vile mawili, neno la kwanza ni rula. Ehe, neno la pili ni televisheni. Mhm, tuweze kumpongeza kwa makofi. Ya, shukrani darasa limekuwa changamufu. Ila hali kuna baadhi ya maneno ambayo havijapata kuweza kusikia vyema au kuna vile yametamkwa visivyo. Kwa hivyo ndawaweza ku kuasihi wanafunzi ngalau wawili pande zote mbili, wanafunzi mmoja mmoja katika kila upande aweze kusimama na aweze kunipa neno ama wazi mtajia neno computer kwa urefu neno computer mwanafunzi yeyote toka pande yeyote ehe printer k mhm o m p u y t a ehe yema get printer amepata bila shaka naona kuna herufi ambayo amekosea na mimi mwenyewe nimechukulia mimi mwenyewe pale hivyo ili niweze kuwakosoa ni K O M P Y U T A neno computer vile vile kuna neno ambayo mwanafunzi aliweza pata visivyo captura captura yote ile Mhm, vyema. Haya tuweze kupata sentenzi, darasa tuweze kupata sentenzi. Sentenzi yangu au mbili kwa maneno yafuatayo. Neno la kwanza ni nyati. Mhm, Adrian. Nyati anakula nyasi. Na nyati ni nani ama ni nini hasa tunapozungumza kuhusu nyati nyati ehe tuweze kumshukuru Adrian kwa makofi moja ehe Adrian amejaribu sana kutuelezea nyati ni nani nyati ni mnyama mkubwa wa mwituni na ukimtazama ile nyati ni mnyama ambaye anafanana na ng'ombe. Ni mnyama wa mwituni lakini hiyo mnyama anafanana na nini? Na ng'ombe. Eh tuweze kupata mwanafunzi aweze kuniambia zahanati ama aweze kunieleza zahanati ni wapi ama ni nini? Mhm mm pinta. Zahanati ni hospitali dogo. Mpe kofi moja hapo. Vyema kabisa. Eh natumai kuwa wanafunzi wamechangamkia kipindi hiki na kuna baadhi ya maneno ambayo nitakupa kama kazi ya ziada uweze kwenda kutafuta maana na maana kutoa wapi maana ya haya maneno ambayo tumeweza kuyapitia hapa maana yanapatikana kwenye kamusi na mbona unajua kamusi 
na hiyo hapo na kamusi mbalimbali uweze kutafuta maana ya hayo maneno kwenye kamusi tutakapokutana katika kipindi kingine bila shaka utaweza kunipa maana ya hayo maneno na bila shaka lazima puwe na mshindi na yule aliyeshindwa na wanasema asiyekubali kushindwa sio mshinda mshindani asiyekubali kushindwa si mshindani bila shaka lazima tuwe na mshindi na yule ambaye ameshindwa kwa hivyo katika kipindi hiki chetu cha leo e, washindi wameweza kuzoa alama zifuatazo sita na ambao ni wavulana hadi wakati mwingine tupatane katika kipindi kingine hebu e, tuweze kamilishia hapo kipindi shukrani Saturday. Bye!